All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father through His um, through His Son, who the Word we call God in Jesus Christ. So, call Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or call Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. That I learned this uh, truth from through the Spirit, through the uh, through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, and. Shalom to the elect, man. All right. And I want to do this quick listen over this actor. All right. This actor, what's his name? So, like, a Chris Pat, you know, he received a reward the other day. He did, a, um, did his little speech, and he started talking about God. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, Christians always want to talk about God. These Edomite Christians always want to talk about God and Jesus because the 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 God and Jesus they believe in is not the God and Jesus in the Bible because these Christians never go into the Bible, never bring out the truth, man. All right? They never bring out the truth. They go to a couple of scriptures. They bring out love and happiness, but... You got this whole entire book, and you only go to three, maybe four scriptures out of the whole book, man. All right? The whole Bible, you don't need all those pages to speak love, man. To talk about love and accepting everybody. That's not what the Bible is about, man. All right? So, he gets up and... Receives this uh, reward, um, gives a speech. He talks about God. All right. Now he he giving his speech. All you could think about is the white the the white Christ. Okay, which yeah Yahweh Shai is not white man. He's not pale skinned. He doesn't have um. What they what they call it, vitiligo. All right, he doesn't have leprosy. All right, so you you so called white people should stop calling each other white, man, because you are you have a, you are cursed with leprosy, okay? And our Lord Yahweh Shai is not cursed with leprosy. All right, he was a so called black man from the tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah, Hebrews seven and fourteen. That's one tribe of the nation of Israel, which Today, the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, man. The Most High has set you above all other people and chosen you out of all nations of the earth, all right? He chose you to be his people. That's why you're in a condition of being the lowest nation on the planet Earth today is because your rebellion and your disobedience, all right? You have the, starting with the so-called white man, the Chinese man, the so-called Arabs, the Africans, all these nations are above you, man. All right, even the Hawaiians, the Polynesians, all right, which go back to the Japhetic nations, all right. They are above you, man, okay? They are above you, man, and that's because of your disobedience. And that's one thing, one simple truth, but one heavy truth. That these nation, this this um, Edomite devils, they will not tell our people, all right? Because that's prophesied about as well. They, he will put a cover and cast off all the people. A cover and cast mean the lies, okay? Not telling them the truth of who they are, man. All right. So I want to jump into the scriptures because you Christ, you you so called Christians, all right? You are you are you are foolish and you don't know nothing, all right, concerning the Bible. You just go off your emotions. And we know according to Jeremiah seven and nineteen, if I'm not mistaken, you can proof check it, which you should proof check everything I say. Alright? That your heart is def deceitfully wicked above all things, man. Meaning your mind is very it is it's, it's super wicked, man, all right? It's deceitfully wicked, all right? 
So you shouldn't follow your own emotions, your own vain opinions. You should go according to what the Bible says. And the Bible says that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, he only came for the Israelites. And he's a so-called black man. That's, that's what we're going to get today. All right? He didn't come for all nations. He only came for the Israelites. He only shed his blood for the Israelites. All right? His second coming is only to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? And... His blood was only shed for the Israelites, and he's not a so-called black man, all right? So that means grace was not given to all nations. It was only given to the Israelites, okay? And the deliverance in his second coming to destroy the enemies, which is you starting with you so-called white people and you other nations, you Hamites, all right? Which is you Africans, you Arabs, you Ishmaelites, all right? And you um, Japhetic nations, you Hawaiians, you Polynesians, all right? The Most High is not with, with you, all right? You uh, Ammonites, which you uh, um, Japanese, so-called Japanese. The Most High is not for you, man, all right? So let me get, this is Luke 1, and I go down to 67. It says, and his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, that's um, Joseph Pops, not Joseph, but John, okay? John the Baptist, that is, what the scholar called him the Baptist. Verse 68, blessed be Yahweh, power of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. All right? Who is his people? The Lord, power of Israel, for he had three visit and redeemed his people. And had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Who is David? Who is of the tribe of Judah. Okay? Let me get this right quick. This Hebrews 7 and 14, it says, For it is evident that our Lord, Yahweh Shah, who the word really called Jesus, sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Okay? So our Lord sprang out of Judah. His people is the Israelites. Um, Deuteronomy 4 and 7. It says, for what nation is there so great who hath the most high so not unto them as Yahweh powers in all things that we call upon him for us? Salakia, so Salakia. So Let me, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Salakia so for that. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Talking to the Israelites, okay? This is uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness in the plain over against the Red Sea between Paran, Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dazahab. All right, so this is Moses uh, being a mediator between the Most High and the Israelites, okay? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh. Holy means separate. We ought to be separate, okay? Okay, according to what the Bible instructs how it teaches and instructs us on how to be separate, man. All right? From these other nations and following after their laws. But we ought to follow after the laws that was given unto us. All right. And on this side to the best of our ability. Okay. Ultimately have faith in Yahweh Shah. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. All right. So the Most High had chosen the Israelites to be a special people unto himself, man. Special, all right, above all people, 
that are upon the face of the earth. So we are the chosen people of the Most High. The Most High don't love everybody, man. He don't care for the you other nations. Starting with you, eat you. Starting with you, hey, starting with you, so-called white people, because you are hated. The Most High hate your guts. Why? Because you are wicked. All right, you are wicked. Okay, you don't follow no laws in the Bible. You don't care to, and you you hate them. You hate them. Okay, and then your actions prove that. This second Ezra six and fifty four, and after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all our creatures, of whom we, of of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So the Most High is a chosen line, okay? A people that he called special, which was the Israelites, all right? It's being reiterated and restated here and proven again, all right? Through another servant of the Most High, um, Israel, which was of the tribe of Levi, okay? It says, It says, uh, go back to 55. I go to 55. It says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou managed the world for our sakes. All right. Talking about the Israelites. Okay. V verse 56. And for the other people, which also come of Adam. Here's what I found on the web. It says, it said, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be unto, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So these other nations in the eyes of the Most High, they are like nothing. All right, the Most High don't care for them. All right, He has set the Israelites above and chosen them to be above and given him giving them the promises okay that brings up another scripture all right this is Romans 9 and I started three this is Paul talking to the Israelites foreigners okay because they was not living in the land all right this is Romans let me go back over that. This is Paul talking to the Israelites that was in the region of Rome. Okay? So this is Romans 9 and 4. So like you start at 3. It says, For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Shah for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So this is his kinfolk. According to the flesh, not according to the spirit, no, not being a spiritual Israelite, which the Christians like to teach. All right. The only way you could be a spiritual, spiritual Israelite, if you are an Israelite first. OK. And then you could walk in the spirit. But if you're not an Israelite, then you cannot be a spiritual Israelite. All right. If you're of another nation, you cannot become a spiritual Israelite. That's impossible. That's weird, man. <laughs> All right. Most High ain't said, said that. You another nation, you are what your father is, and you're going to receive of your judgment according to prophecies, man. All right. So if you are heathen, you can't convert into being an Israelite. There's no way. It's not happening, okay? So Paul is saying that he wish he could have went through what Yahweh Shah went through for his for his people, man. All right. Verse four. Who are Israelites? Okay, that's their nationality, the Israelites. To whom pertained the adoption? What when did the adoption happen? When Yahweh Shah shed his blood. That was only for the Israelites. The bringing back to being um to bring him back the uh the 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 lost sheep of the house of Israel to the most high all right having that favor in the eyes having that peace all right and that forgiveness of sin in the eyes of Yahweh 
that happened, they was adopted back by Yahweh Shah, man. All right. And the glory, the kingdom, and the covenants, the Old Testament and the New, and the giving of the law, and the services of the Most High, and the promises. That was all given to the Israelites, all right? Who are the fathers of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came, who is over all, the Most High, blessed forever, amen. So that's it. That shut it down, man. The... Yeah, I only came for the Israelites, man. Okay? So i get this right quick. This is uh, Revelation 1. This is Revelation 1 and 13. I started 13. This is the color of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? It says, In the midst of the seven... The seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, so he had ancient apparel on, a garment, and, and girt about with paps with a girt and girdle, so he had a girdle around and it was golden, to pit text his midsection and to carry his weapon. All right? Because he was clothed in uh, weapon, I mean, a uh, war attire, okay? It says... His head and his hairs were white like wool. So like you. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head, all right, and his hairs were white like wool. His head on his his hairs on his head and his hairs on his face were white like wool. Okay? So what they were gray and they had the texture of sheep. Only people on the planet you see, only people on the planet Earth that have that woolly texture of hair, that real wool. Is that you look at the Negro man hair, nappy, just just like mine, real nappy and woolish. All right, but he was he was gray, okay, as white as snow, as his and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Cause Yahweh Shah pissed off, man. For many reasons, pissed off. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, which brass is brown, as if they burn in a furnace. And if you burn brass in the furnace, it get darker. So it was a dark brown. If it's, and his voice as the sun of many waters. All right. And pretty much, man, that's it, man. You Christians, that Christianity... Any any Israelite still believe in Christianity, you going to die, man. That's just it, man. Because that's not the truth. And the Most High is only dealing with the truth, okay? The, the scriptures say if you add or take away from the book of this prophecy, all right, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shah, all right, then you're going to receive the place that's in the book. All right, Revelation 22nd chapter, okay? So you can't, you can't lie, okay? You're going to be, well, Paul cursed men in the Bible for going against the truth. He said, if any man come with another spirit, let him be accursed, all right? So you're going to be cursed and die, man, all right? Because this, this gospel is, is the start of the kingdom, man, all right? This, this gospel that's being pushed right now is ushering in the kingdom and it's the vibration that's going to be here established on the planet Earth. If you pushing that you can eat pork and the Lord love everybody, he don't care about this, the sin, but he love the sinner, you're going to die, man. All right? Because that's pushing a false energy and that ain't the way Yahweh Shemiah Shah want his word to be established on the planet Earth.